Looking through my contracts on what to do next, because I'm realistically bored, I've realized that I had just unlocked the snow shovel, which I had completely forgotten about. And you may be saying, wow, you unlocked it this like late into the game. It's been it's been like three weeks already. And yeah, it's mostly because I've just been super lazy and I haven't really been playing that much. I mean I have been, but just not as necessarily trying as much. So yeah. But I have unlocked this, so I was still surprised, and obviously I was excited to use it because I was always wondering if I would ever get this good weapon again because it was just such a limited item back in like 2019 i think but either way let's go over what it does first which which makes it like you know one of the most rarest but now it's not really weapons and that was the fact that literally every single swing the damage was 70 damage of course per swing and that's about it from its basic attack but its ability and i say that with holding two fingers up on both my hands the ability is basically you basically shove your shovel to the ground and you fling a a snowball from the sand surface an example of how that makes no sense and you basically fling it to the uh, closest zombie or wherever you're aiming and if you hit a zombie or an infected as you could say it give it of course the damage is 40 of uh, 40 damage on impact from the snowball but also it blinds the infected and also what's it called and actually slows down the infected so that's okay but the thing about this that just makes literally a, a kind of pointless and not really good of a weapon was the fact that if you were blind Ended by the snowball you would still see the survivors outlines the highlights around their character because obviously the infected can see the survivors outlines so it's basically a useless abil ability and yeah it's not that great it, I guess it's only good against, against like what's it called rapid infection kind of but mostly it's not because obviously they have that clairvoyance effect and plus why would you use this against a crawler when they are so fast and they could one shot you makes no sense so yeah this weapon is kind of pointless, but at the same time, it is fun to basically use, to basically just to shoot around. To maybe, I believe it's more satisfying to just swing it, um, the, what's it called, the snowball effect on the, saw, on, the, on the infected. To basically get that nice last hit kill being a snowball shot, that just feels so satisfying as like, the final hit being a snowball, that's kind of satisfying. But yeah, and I do remember how they're, uh, uh, what's it called, about the glitch of the highlights. I do remember someone talking about it, if I can remember or just find uh, the message. I'll put it on the screen right now, but yeah, this weapon is not that good, but it is going to be a buff or necessarily a fix to that. So yeah, this weapon may be a little bit more better. It'd be a really good, uh, what's it called, anti-juggernaut, what's it called, weapon, because obviously you're blinding them and they're a lot slower, so you can basically get the nicest hits on them, especially on the Banshee, I think. But yeah, right now it's not the greatest, and I don't um, expect anyone to be that, uh, what's it called, too cracked on that weapon too much and also the fact that i don't really i don't ha i have not really seen anyone actually using this probably because either they don't have it or they're grinding for it or they just don't use it but yeah this weapon is not necessarily the greatest but i am hoping for that fix to come soon but yeah i just wanted to give that little bit of an info on the snow shovel because it is not necessarily the greatest but hey it is still a really fun weapon hopefully it gets fixed from this highlighted glitch but yeah see you guys all in about 42 years and have a great day